everyone, it's Jess from Camera By Your Side. Can you introduce yourself and tell what you do? Sure. Hi, my name is Allison Trackman Hill, and I own a company called Critical Issues for Girls. And we work with girls all across the country and their families and their schools and their communities to help them through all the issues that they are experiencing growing up girl in our global society. So that's the work that I do. Now, what are some of the issues that you deal with every day? So some of the stuff we're working on with girls, and we work with boys too, we work with youth, are relational aggression. We're doing a lot with bullying and cyberbullying, as we know that has been in the media a lot lately. We do work with dating violence and conflict resolution, ethical decision making. We, we've actually been doing also a lot of stuff around getting into college and what that looks like and what that means. Everything that really is a part of being in relationships with other people. And we do, we're a consulting business, and so we do work we help people design programs and evaluate programs and we help them with their business needs and really everything that makes a program work for young people in our culture. Now what advice do you have for kids who are going through these issues and need help? Well one of the things that I would say is that it is really important for you to remember that you shouldn't keep it to yourself. If you can talk to your friends, if you can talk to trusted adults, I know sometimes it seems that you're the only person experiencing it or it's embarrassing or you don't want to talk about what's going on, but it's really important to do that because oftentimes you're going to need help resolving the issue. If it is a cyberbullying issue, what I would re request that you do please is take a screenshot, copy the IM, copy the text, make a copy of the email. It's going to be really important for you to have proof at some point that that stuff is happening. I know you just want to erase it and get rid of it, but it's really important to keep proof. And it's important really to remember whether you're being the target of somebody's aggression or sometimes the aggressor yourself or you're, if you're witnessing somebody else, it takes all of us to be a community of respect for one another because in the end, our relationships are where we're most powerful and our relationships are what make us happy and grow, and if we don't have our relationships with others, we really are going to be extraordinarily alone and isolated, and life is always so much better when we share it with other people. Now, have you recognized anyone who has been doing good at these type of things and staying out of these situations? Like, What have they been doing right that they can do to stay away from these? Sure. I think that the things that are doing right is to always remember that even if you're using technology, there's a person on the other side of it. It's really easy because you can't see them necessarily to forget. And so maybe you're going to be a little bit less thoughtful than you would have been if they were in front of you. But if you can always think about what you're posting before you post it, whether it's on Facebook, whether it's something like Form Spring, where even if it's anonymous, you know that, that you could be hurting somebody on the other side. So if you think about what you post, if you try to be respectful and try to remember that if you wouldn't want to be treated or spoken to that way, you shouldn't do it to others, I think that's a great way to think through all of your communication with other people. <laughs> now, what advice do you have for tweens that are in middle school or going into high school? Well, I think if you're in middle school, middle school can be an extraordinarily difficult time because everybody is making you feel as if there's only one way to be and you've got to be that way to kind of be in with the in crowd. And I can promise you that being yourself and staying true to your values is really important. You don't need to do that at the expense of your relationships. There are ways to still engage with other people and be respectful and show them what you bring to the table because your unique qualities are going to make your relationships that much better. And I think if you're going into high school, high school is going to be an absolutely amazing time. You're going to have different opportunities than you've ever had before, a lot of independence. But with that independence come responsibility. You know, they say in Spider-Man, right? With great power comes great responsibility. And I think the thing to remember is to be responsible to yourself and to other people. And I think you're going to have a really great time. You can check me out online at www.ci4g.com, Critical Issues for Girls. I'm also on Twitter at Allie T. Hill, so that's A-L-I-T-H-I-L-L. -L. So come and check me out. I'd love to hear from you. Bye. <laughs>